Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft new Nintendo 3DS Edition Let's Play video. And this is part 41 of my Let's Play series. And as you can see, my finger doesn't look like it's actually, like, breaking itself. And that's because I finally have a PSP cap on my 3DS. Finally did that modification. And now I have a more comfortable playing experience playing Minecraft new 3DS. And I barely have to put any pressure, like... I'm almost putting no pressure on it at all, and it's moving like extremely fast, and I love that. So yeah, finally got that modification complete, and it is literally so much better. So in this video, you might be wondering why I'm actually climbing this hill, and I also have something else everyone's been long awaited in this version for my Let's Play. Unfortunately, I can't get up there though. Ugh. Come on. It has to be delayed by such a long time, but... That's right, the nether. Finally going in the nether immediately. I did go into the nether off camera, so I kind of know what it looks like, but I did get killed by a ghast numerous times. So don't expect me to actually, like, um, stay alive. I'm not really, sure how to, not really sure how to word that, but here we are in the nether. And whoa! I forgot how dangerous this spot was. I need to get out of here. God, the nether, God, it really spawned me in a bad spot. Look at that. This is from the gas, I believe. Dang, it really spawned me in a bad spot. I'm going to take some precautions here. Just in case, I'm actually going to crouch, first of all, and place some, uh, if I can actually do it, because place some cobblestone just so I don't, like, run into the nether because I died and I like, can't wait to get my stuff and then boom Gen Space has died so yeah I'm just gonna place a little wall around here just so I know like not to fall down dang that gas did a lot of damage um yeah have not found another fortress yet so maybe in this video we'll go look for one god this is super dangerous just placing all these blocks here just in case I don't fall. All right, I think that should be good enough right there. All right, so let's go explore this thing because we know that our, there's the coordinates for the nether fortress. So if I ever do need to rewatch this video for getting lost. Um, this nether isn't actually that great um, because there's a lot of like uphills and downhills, which isn't a good thing. I prefer more a flat nether. But that's just my preference. So do I have a pickaxe on me? I do, but it's a diamond one. Oh, well, it'll have to suffice. I'm just going to get some nether cords here. And I'm actually, I was actually kind of surprised at this, but the new 3DS does have the nether music, just like how other versions do. All right, I'm not standing on this because it could lead to, ooh, 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 ooh. That's kind of scared me. This could lead to dangerous things. So let's just see here. That, I know it isn't, so we're good. Oh, God, that scared me. Oh, oh. you need to stop be being clumsy like that. All right, let's get our sword out just in case there's a magma cube or something. Hmm, this is actually kind of, kind of a flat nether. Maybe I was mistaken because I haven't even barely explored it yet. Oh, God. Um, now, so you might notice that the lighting looks a little bit different, probably looks a little bit better quality, and that's because I'm using one of my LED lights. I'm pointing it in a different direction because the LED lights are so bright. I'm not using my lamp because the lamp puts a really weird tint, as you guys can see. Like, well, you can't really see because of the other light, but it doesn't look that great with just my lamp. It's not really a professional lighting system, so. I haven't really found much yet, but as you guys can see of my, uh, weird looking cursor on the map. I'm just kind of spinning around in circles doing nothing. Whoa. I may need to turn down the sensitivity just a little bit. I'm probably going to do that. Whoa, it's all the way down. Wow. It feels really sensitive in my opinion. Due to the C-stick, obviously. Or the PSP. Um, I really don't think there's going to be anything down there. 
We're gonna do a little bit of exploration in this video for the Nether, but in the next video, I'm gonna uh, off camera. I'm gonna try and find another fortress, but there's really no guarantees that I'll actually find one, or even complete this game in general. I don't even know. Oh, I hear gas. God no. I hope I'm not going toward it. It found it sounded really faint though, so I think I should be okay. The next modification I want to do my 3DS is possibly um, homebrew or CFW. And then I want to do um, a uh, circle pad replacement one day, hopefully. Just so I can match the all black interior of my 3DS because you can see that pretty much every control is black except for the circle pad and that just annoys me because the PSP cap was um, gray with the old C garbage, but now it doesn't match. So the circle pad I'm going to need to replace. I don't really need to replace it, but it'd be a nice modification. It'd be nice to replace it with one that's actually grippier, because I mean, the circle pad's great. It's just that it could be a little bit grippier, but it is fine, at least for the time being. I don't really have any issues with it. So, whoa, we already have some glowstone. That's nice. Let's collect some of it. I love having some glowstone. Hopefully you don't run into the fire. Knowing me how clumsy I am, I might end up doing that. I know I can remove it, but I don't want to do that yet. Alright, this time I'm actually going to remove all of this. Whoa, god, there's a ton. And of course I did end up pinning it. Oh well. So let's get the rest of this. Drops like five each, doesn't it? I don't even know. I think it only drops four. Ooh, that looks nice. Let's go around. All right, I definitely don't know where my portal is, so. We've explored quite a bit of this nether so far. Whoa, 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 what was that? What hit me? Oh, it's a gas. I didn't even hear it's whining. That's why I didn't. That's why I thought, what is that? Oh, God. This is not good. At least my hearts are pretty much regenerated, but. Oh, no. Alright, let's go up. Let's go up. I don't care where it's at. I just want to leave. I think I heard it explode. So, uh, ooh, there, God, there's holes everywhere. I'm afraid those might actually lead down to my death. No, it's still right there. Um, guys? Oh, shoot, no. What the heck? Oh, God, no, it just crashed. I've never had this happen to me before in Minecraft New 3DS. Never. This is the first time it's happened to me. Because it, nothing, look. I just turned and it just froze up. Like I'm moving it and it won't work. Moving that won't work. Nothing. Oh no. The home button's not working either. Oh man, I but it's not gonna oh it better like it's not gonna save it either. Oh man. Wow, this has never happened to me before in Minecraft New 3DS. Well, that was an epic fail. Well, at least we know what the nether looks like. And guess what? We'll actually end up being at home, probably. Man, that sucked. Well, let's, uh, I guess we could say we can end the video here because that was a pretty interesting ending. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to be the end of this video. And also my first look at freezing for Minecraft New 3DS. So now you could say that Genspace has experienced that. Because I've always said, well, I've never experienced freezing, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. But now I have experienced it. <laughs> hopefully, it won't. Hopefully, that won't ever happen again. So yeah, guys, that's me. The end of this video. If you have any suggestions for future videos, comment down below. And thanks for watching.